Hey there, Power Diary friend, Danielle here. In the world of health practice management, every second counts. That's why I'm excited today to come on and introduce you to our latest feature, automations. Imagine cutting down on repetitive tasks, reducing missed payments, and engaging clients like never before. With Power Diaries Automations, that dream is a reality. So without further ado, let's dive right in and check it out. Okay, so here we are within the Power Diary system, and you're probably wondering to yourself, where do I find automations? Well, let me show you. You head on over to Settings, Configuration, and drop down here to Automations. Now, depending on the type of automation you are sending, you may need to adjust your template so that you can have the appropriate links within your communications template. So, before I jump into this unpaid invoice automation, I know I need to create a new communication template that includes the appropriate link for this automation. So, I want my customer to know they've got an unpaid invoice, so we've got a new field for that template. So before we jump in here, let's head on over to Tools, Communications, Templates. Great. So again, I've set this up for us. I've already created a template, but I want to show it to you. So you wouldn't want to use your traditional invoice and statement template unless you go ahead and update these fields. So let's look at this one. I've created a whole new one. I've got it called Unpaid Invoice Template. All right, so this chart's all filled up. Down here, I address it to who it's going to, and I've got this new field right here, and that is invoice PDF link. So when they receive this automated email, they will have a link that will take them to see their invoice, download it, and pay it if you're connected to Stripe. So I've got this new merge field in here, grabbed it right from down here, and I've inputted it right in here and I'm gonna save this. All right, so my automation invoice template is ready to go, and we're gonna head back on over to our lovely automations, and I'm gonna show you how you set that up. So now I'm gonna go settings, configuration, automations, excellent. Now let's look at this automation that I've already set up, which is unpaid invoice automation. So I've named it, I've selected the type, in this case it is invoicing, I've selected the condition, so seven days after the invoice um, was posted. I got the status as unpaid. They haven't paid it yet. Now you could change that, but we want this to go to those people that didn't pay. I got it going as an email, and now I've selected that brand new template that I've created. Great, and I'm going to save it. So seven days after that appointment, this is automatically going to trigger and send out to the customer. In a second, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the user side. So it's been seven days since my patient had their appointment and they haven't paid their invoice. So based upon the automation I've set up, this is the email they're going to receive. So they'll get this email, they'll be able to click on this link, and they'll get a copy of their invoice and know that it needs to be paid. They can download it and you can have instructions for how to pay. Or if you set up Stripe, they will have a link right here where they can pay via Stripe for their service. Now, let's jump back into the system and let me show you another automation. So here we are back in automations and now I wanna get a patient satisfaction automation created. I wanna know, do my clients love my service? Now I've already done a little bit of some backend work. I've created a form for patient satisfaction that can be completed by the patient. And I've also created an email template that will be attributed to this automation. And that's all set up. And let me show you how to create now the automation. So I do add automation. I'm gonna name my automation. We're gonna call it patient satisfaction v2 automation because I already got one in the system. I'm going to select the automation type. It's going to be post appointment. I want it to be, let's say, two days after the appointment. I'm going to set the location if that's necessary. I'm going to do the appointment status. So I want to know that this person actually came. So we're going to do completed. 
so that appointment has happened, I want to know how their service went. So you can also select this only for specific services, but I want it to go out to everybody because I want to know how everybody did. You can also have appointment flags. You can further bring this down in your automation. And now we're going to select the action type. I'm going to do an email and I'm going to find that template that I have created for the um, client satisfaction. So I have patient satisfaction automation. I've named my template and I'm going to go ahead and click save. Excellent. So now two days after that appointment, I'm going to get some feedback from my patient on how that appointment went. So in a second, let me show you what that looks like for the patient. So here we are in the email of the client. Here is my template that I created. And right here is a link to book the form I created to go ahead and gauge their satisfaction. And this is the email that was triggered two days after the appointment. So they've got this email. They'll click here. They'll go ahead and they'll be, have to log in because this is a form that will capture back to their account. Click continue. And then they can go ahead and fill out the survey. And when it's done, I will have those results on their client profile and know how they enjoy their appointment. So there you have it. You are now on your way to a more empowered health practice management with Power Diaries Automation. So head on in, discover these automations today, test them out, create some new templates, create three automations. Let us know your feedback. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.